Forget the gym. These anime romances will give your heart the workout of the last time. Here are the top 20 best romance animes of all time. Let's go. Number 20, Tony Kawa Over the Moon for You. Starting off, sometimes love hits you like a truck, but for Nasa Yuzaki, it literally did. Good thing he didn't die, but that's when Nasa's life plan gets flipped by a mysterious girl. Saved from a truck by her, he confesses his love, only for her to ask him to marry her. Now he must choose his dream future or an unbelievable romance. It's not just another wholesome, fluffy rom-com, it's much more than that. What I think makes Tonikawa one of the best rom-com is how the romance isn't dragged out since there is little to no drama. Another reason why I think it's great is because of how it keeps some questions unanswered. Not to mention the visual style has a light touch with its character designs and even has the same style as the manga. Plus, who can forget all these cartoony expressions? I mean, the guy's literal name is NASA. Number 19, Oren High School Host Club. Imagine if you ended up working undercover as a charming boy despite being a girl at a fancy school's host club to pay off a broken antique vase. It would be crazy, right? Well, that's what happened to Haruhi Fujioka, who has recently enrolled in the prestigious Oren Academy. At this school, Haruhi stumbles upon a charming host club where boys entertain girls. So when she breaks a really expensive base, she ends up working there. <laughs> Looking for a show to laugh your butt off? Look no further. Or an high school host club will not fall short in that aspect, but the character development and enjoyment level were the best things about this series. It keeps you entertained nearly the whole way through. Not gonna lie though, on the technical side of things, the animation in Oren High School Host Club is top tier for shoju. Number 18, the quintessential quintuplets. <laughs> Maybe getting paid five times the rate to tutor a single high school student sounds too good to be true. But for this guy, it isn't a brilliant but poor high schooler. Futaro takes a high paying tutoring job to save his family. However, he must tutor five identical quintuplets who hate studying. And hopefully, they're not as dumb as each other. Of all the harm stories you've watched before, this has got to be one of the best ones ever. There's just something about it where it feels like the comedy and romance just mix in perfectly. Speaking of characters, all the characters have enough screen time and not a single one of them was left out. And you gotta respect that because there are five girls here. Each of them fills a certain trope, so there's always something for everyone. Number 17, five centimeters per second. What happens when the threads of fate pull two soulmates in opposite directions? Despite their deep affection, childhood friends Takaki and Akari are separated by certain circumstances. Though only connected by memories, the vast distance takes its toll, leaving them stuck in the past and unable to find happiness in the present. Genuine love is, without a doubt, an experience that everyone puts sincere consideration towards and even wants to get. Shinakai's work is about capturing a feeling and emotion. Of course, the animation quality is astounding because of the details and backgrounds, from the lighting effects and camera angles that help bring the mood of the scenes to the background. To put it simply, almost all frames of this movie can be a wallpaper. And if you've asked anyone who's watched this, they'll tell you that it was a one-of-a-kind experience. Number 16, My Love Story. Story. <laughs> 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 
This guy shows us that sometimes it's not all about looks. Taiko Goda is a high school freshman with an intimidating appearance and falls in love with Rinko Yamato. However, he suspects she's interested in his handsome best friend, Makoto Sunakawa. Despite his romantic feelings for Yamato continuing to bloom, Taiko decides to act as her Cupid even as he yearns for his own love story. Yamato. <laughs> Love at First Sight is mostly all that this series is about. Written and crafted by Kazune Kawahara, this series is what I consider a classic for the rom-com genre. While the pacing seems a bit off at first, I can honestly say that the show does a great job of showing their progress as a couple. Not to mention, there's comedy that adds to the entertainment. Rather than relying on dirty fan service or shock value, the show has so much wholesomeness, I might start a charity. Number 15, Lovely Complex. <laughs> Speaking of looks, maybe opposites do attract in more ways than one. Mismatched high schoolers Risa, who is super tall, and Utani, who is super short, are on a quest to find love. But their crushes fall for each other. Through shared heartbreak and hilarious fighting, they become the unlikeliest of friends. Could there be more to their bond than meets the eye? <laughs> Lovely Complex is a light-hearted and refreshing and realistic rom-com with a distinctive style that'll probably be hit or miss with most. While the story proved to be both entertaining and heartwarming at the same time, another good thing was that almost no episode felt fillerish. The balance of Slice of Life shows is delicate, and Lovely Complex nailed it. While watching it, I was surprised that I managed to get through a bunch of episodes without even realizing it. That's one for the tall queens and short queens out there. Number 14, We Never Learn. The title of this anime is your motto when you make mistakes in life. Poor student Yugia lands a full ride scholarship, but with a twist. He must tutor the school's academic prodigies in their weakest subjects, leading to some hilarious moments that's probably gonna lead to some good old romance. Can Yugia manage the chaos and help these brainiacs achieve their offbeat dreams? <laughs> It's just like QQ, but the girls are actually smart. When it comes to the plot, it's delightful because it doesn't follow the typical harem settings. Also, let's not forget the character development in the anime is pretty solid. All the comedic moments, developments, fan service, and heartwarming scenes are rather reasonable and don't feel forced. Not to mention the pacing's good and, as mentioned before, feels natural. I also love the OST for this one. It fits the atmosphere so well. Number 13, My Love Story with Yamada-kun at level 999. <laughs> Gamers, we still have hope when finding love. Dumped by her cheating boyfriend, Akane seeks solace in their online game. There, she reunites with the top player, Yamada, and hatches a revenge plan. Despite their contrasting personalities, their bond deepens through shared experiences, blurring the lines between game and reality. <laughs> Madhouse may not be the same studio they were back in the day, but shows like Yamada Kun at level 999 prove they're still capable of making anime with great direction and art. One of the interesting aspects of the show is its parallels to the popular anime Horimiya. The show also adds a lot of gaming culture, which for the gamers out there is going to be so relatable. Just the unique blend of romance and gaming creates a captivating and refreshing viewing experience, which is made even better by the show's stunning animation. Number 12, Bottom tier character Tomozaki.
Now this might be a very specific question, but bear with me. Can a champion online gamer level up his real life skills with the help of a popular classmate who becomes his unlikely coach? A high school loner who dominates the online game TacFam dismisses real life as a rigged game. His perspective changes when he discovers a top online player is his popular classmate who offers to help him level up in the real world. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Bottom tier Tomozaki is one of the hidden gems of romance. The concept of a socially inept loser going from a shut-in to a normal high schooler is flawlessly executed here. You can already tell that he's going through some actual character development by just looking at him. Overall, the anime has a lot of pointers on the social situations happening around us, and has a lot of things for us to learn in the anime. Number 11, Tamako Love Story. Hi. Ora. Maybe first loves bloom best under the pressure of goodbyes. It was so poetic. Anyways, high schooler senior Mochizo dreams of attending Tokyo University, but it means leaving his hometown and his childhood crush, Tamako, behind. Tamako plans to stay and work at her family's mochi shop. Mochizo must find the courage to confess his feelings before graduation. Tamako Love Story would be Koyo Ani's best movie if the disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya didn't exist. This anime has a great development where all pieces that are scattered in its prequel are connected, creating strong bonds between the two main characters. After watching this, I pretend to forget that fat birds exist. Of course, Koyoto Animation brings us to the old tradition of their art, a sweet, clear, and neat art. Before watching this, though, I suggest watching Tamako Market, but it's still okay to go ahead and go to Love Story instantly. Number 10, 3D Kanojo, Real Girl. <laughs> you thought we were done with gamers? Well, we just entered the top 10, and we ain't. Socially awkward Hikari finds refuge in anime and games, but with his equally nerdy friend Yuto. School bullies make him their target, but Yuto still accepts him anyways. Detention lands Hikari on a pool duty where he meets Iroha, a notorious troublemaker. With a reputation for drama, Hikari avoids her. Iroha! <laughs> If you're looking for a wholesome and complete story with all the right ingredients, this delivers on every aspect you could want. After getting past the initial unbelievable developments, the drama and romance aspects that followed were enough to keep you interested. The OST was a banger too, and the character designs were so cool. Funny enough, sometimes a 3D girl is better than a 2D one, but you wouldn't know because you don't have either. Number 9, The Anthem of the Heart. <laughs> Music offers a lifeline to a girl cursed with silence, but can it rewrite a tragic past? Once a bubbly girl who adored fairy tales, June's honesty tore her family apart. Now a silent high schooler, June gets a chance to perform in a musical. Discovering singing might break the curse, she's drawn to the handsome singer Takumi. Could he be the key to her happy ending? <laughs> the Anthem of the Heart re-embraces the theme of expressing yourself, reminding people that it's okay to speak out their true feelings about anything. I really respect the show for being able to develop multiple characters at once, which is a rare thing in any medium. The Anthem of the Heart is a movie that manages to pay close attention to its characters despite having quite a lot of drama going on, and that deserves some respect. Number 8, Josie, the Tiger and the Fish. Now, there's actually no tiger here. Let's be honest, there is a romance anime. Dreaming of studying marine biology abroad, Sueno juggles part-time jobs. A chance encounter with a paraplegic girl named Josie lands him to become her caretaker. Initially annoyed, Sueno soon sees Josie's yearning for adventure. Oh, 
Tackling the concept of disabilities and mental frontiers, Josie gets us through an ocean of emotions in her effort to touch the limits that she couldn't think that she could meet. When it comes to the story, I can safely say that this is the only movie in which the storytelling of a children's book can be phrased in a way that makes the audience very emotional. This is just one of the most criminally underrated anime movies that people should watch. I mean, the art can sometimes be insane. It makes you feel like it's a painting. Number seven, The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten. Oh. When they said there was an angel next door, <laughs> they weren't kidding. Nicknamed Angel for her beauty and brains, Mahiro Shina lives next door to our boy Amane Fujimiya, a complete recluse. A chance encounter during a rainstorm sparks a connection. Shina initially wanted to repay a favor, goes above and beyond for caring for the messy guy. As they share his apartment, a sweet bond blossoms between the unlikely pair. <laughs> Without a doubt, this can become one of the best romance anime. If you're looking for a sweet, fluffy romance that'll make you smile and feel good, you might enjoy this anime. It's so sweet, in fact, that it's gonna give you diabetes by the end. You can really feel how wholesome it is and how Angel's one of the best girls in all of anime. Number six, sing yesterday for me. How do you even sing yesterday? Well, our boy Riku finds solace in the convenience store routine. Haru, a bubbly regular, brightens his days. Meanwhile, his past crush, Shinatko, returns but harbors old wounds. As Haru encourages Riku to step outside his comfort zone, all three grapple with past regrets and the uncertainty of the future. Will they finally move forward? Riku, Seeing Yesterday for Me was one of the most hyped series for the spring season in 2020. If Scum's Wish and Domestic Girlfriend had a child, it would be this anime. I also think this is a pioneer in the field of seinen and slice of life. In fact, the characters make rationally irrational decisions rooted in love and trauma that make for a genuinely believable and compelling story. And if you want drama, oh boy, this one has a lot. Number five, Weathering with You. If Tokyo gets flooded one day, it's because of these kids. That's because a downpour in Tokyo became the unlikely trigger for an extraordinary encounter. Our boy Hodaka takes a job at a small publisher, while Hina struggles to support herself and her brother. Fate intervenes when Hodaka rescues Hina and discovers her power to summon sunshine. They turn this ability into a business, offering sunshine to Tokyo's rain-weary season. <laughs> When the trailer for Taniki Noko was first released, a lot of fans leaped out of their seats and screamed for joy. If Your Name is a film that explores the red thread of fate, Weathering With You takes us one of the most unique journeys you'll ever have in anime with a one-of-a-kind story. And I mean, the visuals were insane and the OST was a complete banger. Number 4, Yona of the Dawn. <laughs> Being a princess wasn't all about balls and tiaras, because for Yona, betrayal shattered her sheltered life. Forced to flee with her bodyguard Hawk, Yona vows revenge. Now a runaway, she seeks the power to reclaim her throne. Well, if you want to watch a badass woman fight her way towards getting back her birthright, this one's for you. <laughs> Uh, Akatsuki no Yona may appear your typical shoju reverse arm, quite resembling Sayun Koku Monogatari, but no. One thing the show achieves is a fairly well-balanced characterization. Not to mention the show has time to make room for comedy. Every episode has some of it that expresses the lighthearted mood of the show. Meanwhile, the animation still holds up to this day, and it's safe to consider it's one of the best romance anime of all time. Don't believe me? Watch and find out. Number three, Nodame Kantabi. Get 
Want to watch an anime that's just like your lie in April but feels richer? Well, say hello to Nodame Cantabile. Even the title already feels like it was said by Jeff Bezos. Uh, but anyway, the story follows our boy Shinichi, a first class musician that's known as a perfectionist. But his life changes when he meets a girl that calls herself Nodame. And now, the only thing we need to figure out is where Cantabile came from. Nodame, Despite the very simple art and animation, this series is a complete banger when it comes to plot and the soundtrack because, well, it's a series focused on music. What makes it even more interesting is the fact that everything is set in a college of music instead of your standard high school. Aside from the music, to enjoy this series, you also have to learn to love the characters, which isn't easy to do because they feel so realistic. Number 2, Insomniacs After School. <laughs> I can't sleep well at night, but why can't I find love? Well, love is a universal language, but for these two sleep-deprived teens, it translates to sharing a secret sanctuary beneath the stars and forging an unlikely friendship. Ganta stumbles upon Isaki, a seemingly social girl with a hidden problem, insomnia. Sharing the abandoned observatory as their secret nap haven, they find comfort and support in their mutual struggle. Insomniac's After School delivers a simple yet effective story that'll warm your heart all the while avoiding stereotypes, generic plots, fan service overtaking the story, and cliches. I absolutely loved the use of Insomnia as a shared bonding experience for the two main leads. Speaking of romance, the intimacy of their romance is very gentle and straightforward. If you're tired of watching the same old high school stories and want something different, then try this one. Number 1, Saikano. How far will Otaku go to create a dream game? Well, our boy Otaku Tomoya dreams of creating a moving game. He recruits a talented illustrator and writer, but he also needs a muse. Enter Megumi, a seemingly perfect girl. Tomoya launches his doujin circle, but creating heartfelt stories requires real emotions, something his team may lack. Saikano is one of those anime that always makes fans lose their patience when an episode finishes its airing because you just can't get enough. One of the strong points of Saikano is that it has an actual measurable plot progression. It doesn't waste its time on unimportant parts since you can pretty much tell it was designed to be a complete product. And of course, Harum. Who doesn't love that? And with all that and more, Saikano ranks as number one in our list of the top 20 best romance anime of all time, Volume 3.